Knitting Daily has been sponsored in part by Taki Stacy Charles Incorporated. Feel the desire, knit your passion. TakiStacyCharles.com. I'd like to welcome Adina Klein from Taki Stacy Charles. Welcome, Adina. Nice to see you. Welcome back. I know. I always love when you come. You have such great things. What are we talking about today? We're talking about this great versatile cowl capelet mm -hmm. wrap okay. that we came out with this season. And it's, not, it's very easy to do, Super not as long easy. as the title, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's harder to say than to make. Okay. Um, cowls have been very, very big this season. Uh -huh. And um, this particular item is really great because it's really versatile. You can wear it in a whole bunch of ways. Which we show here. Which we show pictures. here. Uh -huh. um, you can wear it as a tube, mm -hmm. um, diagonally. You can double wrap it around your neck as a cowl. Um, here we have it as a shrug vest and um, I'll show you a little later how to make a little chain that turns it into a cape Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Now, how do you start? Do you do it well, in it the round? Well, it looks like it's you... done in the round, but it's actually one big long scarf. You cast oh. on all your stitches, and then do a la um, you do the lace pattern. Uh -huh. You do decreases, so it looks almost that it was done circularly, and then you do an invisible um, seaming, a mattress stitch. Oh, you really? Can't, so yeah, you can't find the seam anywhere. I dare you to find the seam. I tried to find it before I started, and I couldn't find it. And it's this one is done with a silk yarn. Am I yeah, saying this that right? is a fabulous metallic. It's um, mostly silk, mm -hmm. so it's great. It has a ton of drape. But the great thing about this project is we did it in four fabulous different yarns and different gauges to show okay. how versatile. Um, a project so you could use is. any gauge. You could use any gauge. We offer a whole bunch of different. Um, Ways to Ways, change yeah, numbers, numbers to exactly, but it's the gotcha. same pattern. And you so. stitch it like a scarf, so, so you anybody stitch it who like does a scarf, a scarf exactly. Can make it's just a very, very wide scarf. So instead of knitting a short amount for you long, yeah, you cast on the long way. Oh, so okay. that's really All fun. Right. Now, this looks like it's knit the round. How do you put it together? You do an invisible mattress stitch, which I can demonstrate for yeah, you. Yeah, please do, so, because you would never know that this was put together. I know it's really fabulous. So imagine, if you will, this is a you know, for a, a mouse, mini. a, mini, <laughs> a yeah. capelet for a mouse. And I've started it and I'm doing it in a contrasting yarn so you can see. So basically all you're going to do is take your tapestry needle and ladder mm -hmm. up on your pearl bumps, which the lace stitch, oops, she. Well, that happens to all of us. Right, excuse me. So Someone. that's, you're going to, and you didn't knot that. I to didn't begin. knot it because. You're going to use that? I'm going to use it. I'm going to use the tension at the end okay. to sort of hide my work. So you go from side to side. I just go from side to side. Okay. I, I come out where I came in on the other side. Okay. Super, super easy. And here I'll just do okay. a little. Obviously, it's not going to be invisible. And when you we're, pull it up. When you pull it up. It's and actually, disappear. it's really quite invisible when you think about how bright that yarn was. Right. I mean, if you saw it oh, again, okay. you couldn't find it if you could. Yeah, it that is out. really great. But now, over here now is a variation, correct? Pardon? You've done, this is the same pattern, but we've added this little, right. or we you've added, not yes, me. We t I made one for you. Basically, uh -huh. we you can crochet okay. if you know how, as I admit, being in this industry <laughs> for a million years, I'm not great at. And then you simply weave the um, cord. cord in and out of the eyelets, which uh -huh. the pattern produces for you. But I do... But this is really clever. Yes, I do a, you know, sort of a vegetarian crochet, shall we <laughs> say, for people who don't crochet. Most knitters don't crochet. Yes, and they get very so. upset when they have a knitting pattern that has a crochet, a crochet element cord. to it. So, so what do you do? What I do is I cast on. Okay. The sake of television will cast on. But you would cast on the length of this cord, the length, correct? Uh, right. So okay. cast on um, 100, 200, 100 stitches. 100 or 200 stitches, okay. depending on your and gauge. Then. And then, so I'm cast on maybe 10. Okay. And then you don't knit anything. You've cast well, on. If you don't knit anything, what do you do? You just bind off what you've just cast on. That's all? That's all you do. So this is made. That is made by simply binding off binding your cast on row. That is Here, very clever. Isn't that clever? Be 
and you'll never know that it's not been crocheted. No one will ever okay. tell. I won't tell if you don't tell. That is really crazy. I know. I hear that a lot. I can't. I don't crochet, so I know. Okay. And so that, now, Adina, I need to ask you. This is a fabulously wonderful soft yarn. What kind of this is, is it? a great yarn? It's um, an Italian novelty yarn that's been around for a really uh -huh. long time. It's mostly mohair. It has a hint of metallic and a um, rayon cord of sort of a multicolor really novelty. Pretty. So it really makes this a lovely shrug. And over here, I would call this nice and warm. Is it? It's warm, it's also very lightweight because it's a kid's silk and mohair, uh, excuse me, and silk and mohair blend. And it would be a worsted weight? Uh, worsted weight, okay. but I, funnily enough, this is practically the same fiber content, but it's much, much lighter. Oh, wow, thanks Adina.